Hi guys, this is the Java series. Now let's discuss about the garbage collection in Java language. What is garbage? In Java language, garbage means unreferenced objects. Okay, what is garbage collection? Is the process of reclaiming the unused memory automatically. I repeat it again. Garbage collection is the process of reclaiming the unused memory automatically. Okay. In other words, it's a way to destroy the unused objects. Okay. Daemon thread in Java language is a low priority thread that runs in the background to perform tasks like garbage collection. We will discuss later in detail about the daemon thread. Okay. We were using free method in C language and delete method in C++ language. Isn't it? But in Java language, garbage collection is performed automatically. So, Java provides better memory management. Okay. What are the advantages of garbage collection? It makes Java memory efficient. Because garbage collector removes the unreferenced objects from memory. Isn't it? And it is automatically done by the garbage collector. What is garbage collector? A part of JVM. Okay. So we don't need to make extra efforts. Okay. How can an object be unreferenced? The three ways. By nulling the reference. By assigning a reference to another by anonymous object. Okay. For object and reference, we need finalize and GC inbuilt methods. Okay. The finalize method is invoked each time before the object is garbage collected. This method can be used to perform cleanup processing. Okay. And uh, what is the garbage collector? Garbage collection is performed by a daemon thread called garbage collector. Okay, this daemon thread calls the finalize method before object is garbage collected. Okay, and the GC method is used to invoke the garbage collector to perform cleanup processing. The GC is found in system class. I hope you all understood about the garbage collection in Java language. Let's see this example. Here, I have created the class test garbage one inside this class i have the finalize method okay so this method is the user defined method so what is the role of this finalize it's used to print this statement on my console isn't it and i have created the main method and inside the main method I have created two objects, S1 and S2 for this class, test to garbage 1. Okay. And this is the default constructor. And uh, here I have used the new keyword to create the memory for this object during the execution of the program. Okay. How to unreference an object by nulling the reference, isn't it? So here I have used the null keyword s1 is equal to null that means i try to null this object okay then what will happen this object will be unreferenced okay so the memory will be free isn't it likewise here i have used the null keyword and s2 is equal to null so I try to unreference these two objects using the null keyword. Okay, this process is called the nulling a reference. Okay, and here I have used the GC. This is the method which is used to invoke the garbage collector to perform cleanup processing. Now only we have discussed, isn't it? This is present inside the system class. So I have used the inbuilt class system here. Here I have created the user defined function. This user defined function overrides the method which is present inside this 
inbuilt object class this object class is present inside the java.language package got it so in this example i have implemented the polymorphism oops concept okay so all the user defined classes or the sub classes or child classes or derived classes of this object inbuilt class got it okay now let me execute this one okay after encounter this line the control jumps from the 14th line to this finalize so already we know the finalize method is invoked each time before the object is garbage collected isn't it so before the object is garbage collected the finalize method is called with the help of this gc inbuilt method okay so here this statement is printed and before this object is garbage collected this finalize method is invoked that's why we got this output okay the next session we will discuss about the remaining two ways by assigning a reference to another and by anonymous object to unreference the objects in the last session we have discussed about the garbage collection in java language what is garbage collection is the process of reclaiming the unused memory automatically isn't it in the last session we have discussed about nullify the reference variable during garbage collection now let's discuss about reassign the reference variable and create an anonymous object during the garbage collection let's see this example here i have created the class test garbage 2 inside this class i have created the user defined function finalize in the last session itself we have discussed about the method overriding concept that is the polymorphism concept isn't it this user defined function overrides the method which is present inside the inbuilt class object because all the user defined classes or the sub classes of the inbuilt parent class object okay this o must be capital okay and here what is the role of this finalize it is used to print the statement on our console okay and the finalize method is invoke each time before the object is garbage collected okay this method can be used to perform clean up processing and the gc method is used to invoke the garbage collector to perform clean up processing and here i have created the main method and i have created two objects s1 and s2 for this test garbage to class okay and now here i try to assign this reference to this reference okay actually both are the reference variable okay so what will happen here because of this statement we can unreference the object okay and after execute this line this finalize method will be invoked so we will get this statement on our console okay let me execute this one so we got the output object is garbage collected okay so let's see this example here i have created the test garbage 3 and inside this class i have created the finalize user defined function and this is the main method here i have created the object for this class now here i have created an anonymous object we know anonymous objects means that object is not created by the programmer object is created by the compiler only implicitly isn't it here new keyword and the default constructor for this class with the help of this statement we can and reference the object s1 okay so here i have used the gc inbuilt method for cleanup processing 
So after encounter this line, this finalize method will be invoked. So we will get object is garbage collected on our console. Okay, let me execute this one. Here I got the output. I hope you are understood about the garbage collection. So what is garbage collection? Is the process of reclaiming the unused memory automatically. So what are the advantages of garbage collection? It makes memory efficient because garbage collector removes the unreferenced object from memory. Isn't it? It is automatically done by the garbage collector. So we don't need to make extra efforts. Okay. We have completed this session. If you have any doubts, drop the message on the comment section. If this video is useful to you, like and share. For more videos, subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon, then only you will get the notification for my new updates. Have a nice day. Thank you.